What do you fear? What lies do you tell yourself? How do you embellish your truth and write your own fictions? What reality are you creating for yourself? Going blind taught me to live my life eyes wide open. It taught me to spot those backward swimming fish that our minds create. Going blind cast them into focus. I starred on a television sitcom. I graduated from Harvard at 19 with an honors degree in mathematics. I served as a law clerk to two U.S. Supreme Court justices. I currently run a construction company in Orlando. Most people really only care about the television show. <laughs> when I was diagnosed with my blinding disease, I knew blindness would ruin my life. It would be a death sentence for my independence and achievement, and it meant I would live a small, unremarkable life, likely alone. I knew it. This was a fiction born of my fears, but I believed it. It was a lie, but it was my reality. If I had not developed the eyes wide open vision to see through my fears, the reality of my fear about blindness, I would have lived it. Right. I would have. Under the warped logic of fear, anything is better than the uncertain. Fear fills the void at all costs, passing off what you dread for what you know, offering up the worst in place of the ambiguous, substituting assumption for reason. A quick aside, sighted people are terrified of speaking to big crowds. Blind people are terrified of speaking to empty rooms. <laughs> so. I love it. I'm glad you're here. Don't, don't tiptoe away while I'm talking. Um, when you clerked for the Supreme Court mm -hmm. justices, mm -hmm. um, congratulations on that. Um, did you have a favorite justice? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, how do you live your life eyes wide open? It is a learned discipline. It can be taught. It can be practiced. Hold yourself accountable for every moment, every thought, every detail. See beyond your fears. Recognize your assumptions. Harness your internal strength. Silence your internal critic. Correct your misconceptions about luck and about success. Accept your strengths and your weaknesses and understand the difference. Open your hearts to your bountiful blessings. Your fears, your critics, your heroes, your villains, they are your excuses, rationalizations, shortcuts, justifications, your surrender. What lies do you tell yourself? How do you embellish your truth and write your own fictions? You are the creator of your reality. With that empowerment comes complete responsibility. I hope you can see what I see. Thank you.